All right, so in this video, we are gonna be working on the blazer yet again. Uh, we are gonna be building some motor mounts for it. So I got these, just some inch and a half pipe, uh, 120 wall, and then just some polyurethane bushings. So that's gonna be our motor mount now. And some other scrap pieces of pipe and stuff just to make them. But the first thing we gotta do is pull out these old junky motor mounts. Gonna get the cherry picker over here and pick the motor up a little bit so we can get those mounts out. All right, we got the cherry picker set up here, hooked up to the motor. There's one bolt that holds the two sides of the mounts together and then there's a side that bolts to the motor and a side that bolts to the frame. We're just gonna pull all of that out. All right, well, I got that bolt out, the one that holds the two sides together and instead of trying to get those bolts out right now, there's not very much room. So I'm actually gonna cut this whole bracket off here because it will not be needed anymore. Might be able to see better from down here. So yeah, all of this, I'm gonna cut off and then that'll give me a way more room to get to the bolts for the motor mount. And Instead of going to this, I'll just go straight to the frame, which will be better anyways. I'm gonna fire up the plasma cutter, get what I can with that. So I'll probably set you guys up on a time lapse of me cutting those out and then I'll show you what it looks like. Here are those brackets I was talking about. Uh, this is for the motor mount right here. And this is where, this was a bracket for the, I don't know, something to hold the differential in. But if you guys didn't believe that I need motor mounts, you probably should now. Here, here's the motor mount. It removed itself, um, just fell out. So that wasn't doing anything. <laughs> So that's why I'm doing new motor mounts. This side actually don't look too bad, but the other side was terrible, and that's the side that was bad, obviously. So what you can see in here, those are cut off. Now we got just the flat frame to weld our new brackets too. I gotta do a little bit more cleanup. Unbolt those from the motor and make some plates that'll go onto there. And then I'm going to be using these bushings. It's a three quarter inch bolt, uh, inch and a half tube, and then just some polyurethane bushings. So way overkill, but I'm not going to have that problem anymore. So I'm going to get that last, those unbolted, and then we'll start drawing up brackets onto just quarter inch sheet metal because that's what I have. and. Cutting them out and getting it ready to go back in. All right, so I got all these drawn up. These will bolt to the, the block. Then these will weld to this to hold the new motor mount in there. So I already drilled pilot holes, but I'm gonna get all these drilled out and then start cutting them out.
so here they are. I got them all welded up. Um, each one's a little bit unique because I don't have a CNC plasma cutter. It's all done by hand and I could clean them up and make them look good and make them look all even and stuff, but it's going to work. No one, it's way up out of sight, so it's going to be way better. So I'm going to get these bolted to the motor and then my plan is to kind of have a, that's going to be bolted to the motor like that and I'll notch a piece of pipe, go from that to the frame and that'll be it be way better than what it had before. So I'm gonna get those bolted in and start cutting for the supports. So here are the little things I made. This side will get welded to the frame, this side will get welded to the mount. I notched them out. These are both the same material, but uh, they're just different companies, so that's why they're a little bit different. But I got the motor placed in here. It's a couple shims where it needs to be. You can see where it's notched right there. It fits right on there and goes right to the frame. You guys can see that, but just like that. So I'm going to weld it to the frame and tack it to here, and then I'm going to pull this mount off and pull the rubber out and then fully weld it, and then put it back together and she'll have more mounts. Alright, they're in. Kind of see, there's that one right there. And on the other side over there, you can't really see it, but they're in. All right, and you can see right here, sort of, I did put the heat shields on, so um, it doesn't melt the rubber. It's really hard to show you guys in there, but motor mounts are in, so we're gonna fire it up. And you guys saw how much this thing moved when before when I revved it uh, in the last video. So I'm gonna have Braden hold the camera and I'm gonna fire it up and rev it and we'll see how much it moves. Hopefully barely anything. <laughs> but it's cold but that is way better <laughs> it barely moves so it's an improvement oh yeah try to give it a coat of paint so it don't rust Alright, well they're in, um, like you saw, I do want to add a brace that goes from one to the other. I don't have the tube right now, but I'm going to order some more DOM so I can build that across there, and then they will be done. As you guys saw though, when I started it up, it moves way less. So yes, they're very overkill for what it is but they do work really good, so I'm happy with how they turned out. I didn't get as much work done as I wanted to in this video. Uh, that Making those was pretty time consuming, and I don't have um, any more DOM, so I can't finish that cross brace out right now. But I'm gonna order that, and I'm also gonna order all the tools to install my gears and stuff, which are sitting over there in that box. Um, I've had them for a few months and I've just been trying to figure out how to get them installed but I'm just gonna do them myself so 
that'll be a cool video I'll show you guys how to do that as I'm learning because this will be my first time doing gears as well but my mom has done them before so she's gonna help and we should be able to figure it out it's not super hard it's just kind of tedious and you have to get it right so that's gonna be the hard part and also I'm going to be I don't know if you guys have noticed or not but three of the wheels look like this one and then this one's different so I'm gonna order um, another one of those and put it onto here so that all four of them match and then I'm gonna be building beadlock rings and converting these wheels to beadlocks as well I'll either uh, get them cut out at Robbie's shop or I'll just buy a set of beadlock kits and weld them up I am not 100% sure on that yet but that I am going to be doing that and a few more things and but a lot of wheeling videos are coming soon I have a lot of plans I just have to get this thing ready to go and make sure it's all ready for Moab so there's gonna be a lot of videos testing it I'm going to try to do hanging tree before Moab I don't know how long it's gonna be before I can go do that trail but I do plan on getting a lot of video of wheeling so I'm super excited about that um, it's a lot of tedious work just finishing up all the last little things it's really close but it'll never really be done I mean no project really is so but thank you guys for watching this video um, like and subscribe it helps out a ton and yeah stay tuned for the next one